Hello and welcome to this Getting Started video series. This series is meant to help you get started on your 12-step journey. So today we're going to be talking about step four. So let's go ahead and read step four together. Step four made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. Now we come to step four in the place of surrender. That means that we're actively working steps one, two, and three in our lives. We're acknowledging our powerlessness and unmanageability. We're turning to God and we're actively surrendering moment by moment on a daily basis to him, looking and seeking his will and his ways. So when we come to step four, we come to step four with God, not alone. And it is with God and by God's power that we're actually able to look over our past, the things that have happened in our life from an honest perspective. Step four requires courage and it requires honesty. It requires courage because looking back over your life can be hard. Some things are beautiful. You've had amazing experiences and maybe even characteristics about yourself that you love, but oftentimes that's mixed with a messy life. Things that you've done, things that have been done to you that are hard to look at and acknowledge. One of the things that keeps us from making an honest moral inventory is denial. Throughout our lives, denial has served us in different ways, specifically in childhood when we're having to navigate through oftentimes things we don't understand. And in order to be able to survive, we utilize denial as a way to move forward. Denial is basically not willingly looking at our lives honestly, but ultimately rejecting what is true or rejecting the reality. And sometimes that leads us to create a false narrative about what's true. An example of this would be justification. Oftentimes we justify things that deep down we know are wrong just because we can't accept it. We're not ready to deal with it. So when we come to step four, we're coming with an honest, willing desire to look back over our lives and to acknowledge what's happened, what's been done to us and the things that we've done. The thing about this step is that you're not coming back and looking over your life just to do it. There's purpose in it. This is an important part of being able to move forward and is a significant part of what keeps us stuck. Oftentimes we just wanna put the past in the past, but unfortunately it follows us around because we haven't dealt with it, we haven't acknowledged it. You cannot heal a wound by saying it's not there. And so what we do in this step is we look at all of it, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and we acknowledge our lives. This is actually incredibly validating because you can look at your life and acknowledge honestly to yourself and to God the fact that these things happened and they did have impact on you. The thing we're not doing in this step is placing blame or judgment or trying to figure out why people did what they did. We are simply going through and inventorying what happened and our perspective of it. So if you've ever done inventory at a store or a warehouse, you know like you're not making judgments based off of what you're inventorying. You're just acknowledging how what's there. And in this way, we're doing the same thing. We're acknowledging what's there. So you don't have to have or expect to have a specific type of emotional experience. Sometimes when people are working step four, emotion does come up. But oftentimes when you're working step four, it doesn't, and that's okay too. Your emotional response is not what this step is about. This step is about honesty. It's about confrontation, confronting your past honestly and acknowledging the things that have happened. It is one of the key ways that we start to take responsibility for our lives, that we start to walk with God honestly through our lives. And that is exactly what we need to be able to come to step five and to start the pathway of confession. 